every year we lose 800,000 people due to air contamination, air pollution. And if we compare, for instance, with malaria, which is one of the most dramatic diseases we are facing in our public health agenda, malaria is killing every year one million people. And urban air pollution, or air pollution in general, is causing the death of 800,000 people. So it's, it's really a major public health problem for which we have a solution if we all move in the same direction and promote a sustainable transport policy. The moment we will be able to explain the, 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 the citizens, the, the population in general, that uh, it's not just about the in their environment, it's about protecting their health. And the fact that they use their private car will have an impact in the asthma of their own kids. That day, I think it will be fantastic because the, the health argument will be a major motivator to, to engage further on this climate change agenda and for everybody to be ready to contribute because it's not just to, to protect you know the environment and the planet is to protect my health and what is more important the health of my kids or the health, uh, the health of my family so we are in WHO moving very strongly on trying to um, do a, a big advocacy uh, uh, messages explaining everybody that climate change and health are very much linked and transport and health are very much linked